this is a standard CO2 tank that you can buy at a uh, uh, air gas supply, welding supply store with a regulator to regulate the flow of gas through this hose into your euthanasia chamber. The carbon dioxide is not a poisonous gas to you, so um, it's not something that you have to worry about if you get a whiff of it. We've made a chamber here um, just with a plastic bucket, but you can use this depending on the size of your trap. It could be as big as a trash can for a large trap or even smaller than this if it was a small type of trap. You just need something that will accommodate the trap that the animal's in. Because that's what we want you to do is put the whole trap with the animal in the container, close the lid, and uh, then slowly flow in the carbon dioxide. And uh, usually 30, 45 seconds of flowing in to fill the container Carbon dioxide is heavier than the air, so it, it'll stay in the container. Uh, and then turn it off and let the trap and animal stay in there for four or five minutes. CO2 gas will cause the animal to uh, go unconscious and die. And the American Veterinary Medical Association has uh, determined that that is a humane method of euthanasia.